There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas? It's your girl April. So, this video, of course, you guys already know it is a wig tutorial. But I have never heard of this wig company before. I do get really impressed when I get like nice packaging. And this. Bam! Is nice packaging. Okay, does this look identical to a like dry cleaner clothing bag? This is so darn cute. It has an actual hanger inside of it so you can hang your wig up. And I already took the wig out and just like pre plucked the hairline, but it's like really, really like nicely packaged. It did have like cardboard where it was inside of that, so your wig is not like just laying flat like mine's is right now. But I was so impressed when I um, opened the box and seen this. I was like, wow, this is so cute. So, right here on the front, it's called Youth Beauty. Okay, so Youth Beauty, and on the back as well, it does say Youth Beauty 100% human hair so you guys let's take this out and check it out so this wig right here is really actually pretty i like the color blend of this a lot so this is their brazilian body wave and it's 20 inches in length and it is 150 percent density 13 by 4 inch lace frontal the colors that i have are 1b427 and like i said it's a 150 density it is brazilian and is a body wave so this is a nice density 150 what's crazy about it though is it feels like it's like 180 but this is like a nice amount of hair plus the colors are really pretty together so they do run like really really nicely together yeah. um i did pre-tweeze or pre-pluck the hairline it was not bad at all i did want to bleach it but i was kind of like running out of time i'm not really running out of time but i just wanted to just basically do the wig um at the moment in time because i did like the color it does have the three combs in the front area the one thing that i did notice is they have the middle comb also which you can easily remove and the parting space is like a lot you do get a lot of parting space and then in the back portion there's also the adjustable straps and the comb in the nape and it's more or less like a stretch panel kind of middle portion so yes it does have the lace back here as well so the lace color is like probably like a light medium brown like a light medium. okay guys also if you love social media you like to go on instagram snapchat facebook whatever twitter you can definitely check out youth beauty on instagram it is youth beauty youth beauty boutique i will post their link below as long with that they do have a youtube channel so definitely check wow. it out they have all 100 percent human hair virgin hair as they stated and there's no synthetic hair mix in it no shedding, no lice, no tangle free, 100% cuticle aligned hair, which can be dyed, bleached, and made just any color that you prefer. I don't really think that I'm going to be dyeing this one because it's just perfect the way it is. I think they do say that this their wigs can last about two years depending on how good and well you take care of it. It can last longer than that too. You just got to take care of it properly. So listen we're about to put this on now first of all you guys i did want to show you the actual glue that i'm going to be using today i know y'all like glue girl yes also before i continue on they do have some things in the bag which is a hair net this is just the fishnet ones which are really great in the summertime especially the summertime and also you do have the elastic bands in here also so I did tell you guys that I was going to be using glue and this was the Janet Collection glue. Okay, this is a new glue. I did show you guys the actual firm one. There's two like controls or two holes. There's the firm, which is basically for those who just want to wear their wig for the day or two. And then there's the absolute, which is for those who like to wear their wig for like a week or more. So I did already use the firm and it does just hold for the day. Um, you may be able to get another day or so holds out of it, but it really all depends on, you know, your body chemistry. So today I'm going to be using the absolute, which is like strong hold. You're supposed to get like at least a week's holds out of this glue. And I'm really hoping that I do because I want to keep on this boo right here just for just, you know, because I think the color is really pretty and I like the blends of it. So I really want to keep the wig on for at least a couple of days. So these are actual samples. Um, these are not full size products. These are samples and to remove the actual wig there is a removing bond but um this is more or less like an oil so you can definitely put it on the actual wig 
you do need something to remove the wig like an oil based product so I wouldn't say lifting the wig is going to help you would need to put a little bit of this one so these are both samples I'm going to clean my hairline because I did have a wig on already Now this glue does say it takes 30 seconds to dry. You just need to apply a thin, even layer. And it actually does take 30 seconds to dry. Not dry completely, but it does get a little bit tacky. So you want to make sure that you just do it evenly. But first we're going to go ahead and put the wig on, place the wig on. Make sure that it's comfortable. I don't use the combs, so guys, you yeah, know. So the ear tabs can be cut just a little bit. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something different because I did this in my own wig. So I'm going to take the ear tab. I'm not going to cut it off all of the way. And all I basically did was just like split it right here so that way I didn't have to really cut it all the way off. I still have it. That way I can put it behind my ear right there and I get to keep it. All right, ladies, so I'm just going to trim away a little bit of the excess lace from the front portion. I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible and also kind of like mimic my hairline, but I don't want it too close to my hairline because you guys already know I'm trying to grow back my edges and my hairline and I don't want any type of the glue just anywhere near my actual natural hair. So I'm just going to use those small scissors and just to push away or push back the flyaways, I'm going to use my Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray and that's just so that no hairs will get into the actual glue that I'm going to attempt to use. So the glue is the absolute and this is the stronger version of the glue which will allow you to adhere it for days. Now right here you do see me using just like a dark makeup press powder and that is just going to allow me to place the lace onto those dots or makeup. It's just like an outline for me. It makes it a lot easier so that way I don't have the glue too far down. So I'm just going to take the Isha Absolute Wig Glue by the Janet Collection. I'm just going to put it on the top right here. Um, this is just a sample size so you just want to be aware of that. It's not the actual size. It does come in a bigger actual tube. And I'm just going to take a makeup brush and I'm going to apply the glue evenly. As you guys see it is a white glue and it does dry within 30 seconds as stated and it is true to facts from me using just the firm one it does dry within 30 seconds. So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit and I will apply another small layer or a thin layer of glue once again and as you guys see I'm going to work in sections meaning I'm going to do the front hairline first and I'm going to allow that to dry and get tacky and as you guys see here I'm going to be placing it or just pulling it down Words. You want to make sure that none of the hairs are anywhere near the glue because you don't want to get that stuck in the glue. So as you guys see right here, I'm just placing it right near the marks of the pressed powder that I use just as my outline. And I'm just going to take my rat tail cone at the end and I'm just going to press down the lace into the glue. So like I said, it does take about 30 seconds to dry and if you um, 
just want to put like another layer of glue into that you would just definitely want to wait until the first layer is tacky and then go ahead and reapply the glue now for my right side i'm just going to also do just small amounts um as you guys see i was trying to grow back my edges and i mean i still am and it probably doesn't really look like they're grown back in from this actual silhouette of me or this picture or this portion but they actually are um they have grown back in a little bit more after this video and just the way that I have my hair pressed down makes it appear as though it didn't go back in, but they actually have been. So I'm just going to allow that to dry, which I have already done so, and I'm just going to press the right side of the unit down into the glue firmly. You want to make sure that your fingers don't get stuck in the glue because it will get sticky. I will say this about the glue. Um, I have experienced or experimented with many different glues in the past from Ghost Bond to Aqua Bond to just the Salon Perfect ones that are like the clear glues. I have tried so many different glues and it seems like the ones that are always like a clear um, clear substance are always the ones that really don't hold down the best. I seem to like the ones that are more like a glue color, the white. Those seem to just work a lot better and just the hold is much stronger. So with this one, I didn't see any kind of like glue, gluey flyaways. You know how when you're doing the glue and you'll get like the flyaway, stringy flyaways. This is the one thing about the Isha glue that is great because it doesn't have like those little spider web flyaways. Also, it's not as messy as like other glues like Ghost Bond or anything like that. It's not as messy. So that is also a plus for this particular glue. And it dries super fast within 30 seconds. So if you're in a rush, you don't have to take too long to allow your glue to dry. Now this is just the normal, me making a little bit of baby hairs in the unit to make it look just natural, or basically to cover or hide the actual edges of the lace. And for the bottom portion, I always like to have like a sideburn because it just helps lay my wig down more. And I just like the look of like a small sideburn kind of like swoop into my hairline. Now I went ahead and dried, allowed this one to dry and just place it down. You guys see how easy this glue is, like there's no mess. I mean, it, there, there'll be a mess, it all depends on the person, but the fact that it's no mess along the way is like amazing. And I'm also going to go ahead and cut some baby hairs into the front hairline. Not a lot because I don't want too many. Now what I would have liked to have done prior to this video is you know, just have bleached the knots, but I wasn't able to because I was just kind of like on a time crunch and I really wanted to get everything done. But so far, the knots are not bad at all. They're decent. You know, you can definitely cover the little bit that there are with some concealer or makeup of your choice. You know, super easy fix. But you know, once you get used to doing something, you want to continuously do that. So like, I was not a fan of bleaching knots, but now I kind of am. Now I'm just going to swoop some of the baby hairs into the actual wig unit. I didn't really want too many because I like the color of the hair and I really didn't want to take away too much from the actual unit. It's actually a really pretty unit. I was so impressed with the way that they packaged up the actual hair and also just the color of it. They did a really, really nice job. And I'm just going to take the blow dryer and just kind of like dry the baby hairs. It also allows me to dry the actual mousse and hairspray that I use to hold the wig down. That's normally what I use the actual blow dryer for, but being that I just used glue only, the only thing that I have to do is kind of like dry the baby hairs down because I do like to have the baby hairs, you know, just dry. And I also like to use the front nozzle of the blow dryer to flatten the actual hairs in the front, which makes the job so much easier and also makes it look a lot more natural. And it also saves time. So if you have a blow dryer, you have a nozzle on the front of it, definitely use it to press down the hairline in your wig. It will make a humongous difference. And once again, I'm just gonna go back on this side right here and do the same thing as normal. And I'm pretty, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are well aware of this technique. But just for time's sake, I went ahead and used my eyebrow trimmers to cut the baby hairs into this. You don't really need a lot of baby hairs, but it's up to you, your preference. And I'm just going to take some of my hairspray, excuse me, my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse, and I'm going to use that to style my baby hairs. I really don't use gel because I just don't like the 
substance of gel, the messiness of the gel, so I do prefer to use um, hair styling mousse. And as I stated with the knots, I'm just going to use some actual makeup, just so that way it will conceal the little bit of knots that there is. Like I said, it's nothing really major with their knots. It's really acceptable. You can definitely use some makeup to cover it up and you'll be fine, girl. But overall, in general, the hair is absolutely beautiful. I was so impressed. The silkiness of it, the density, for real, y'all, let me just talk about that real quick. 150% density, this wig does not even look like it's only 150. Like, for real, if you get 150 density from some other websites, it is not this full and voluptuous. Not only that, but the 20 inches of length, girl, it looks like a 22 or 24 inch. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely very, very grateful for the length and the density because, like I said, if you purchase from other websites, your wig will be definitely much shorter and thinner. So, I'm very happy and pleased with that. If you guys are wondering what I just used on my hair, it was a wax stick. And unfortunately, I don't even know what I did with it now. I could not find it. And I absolutely love it. So, I may have to give me another one. Um, but I just used that for the flyaways. But it also helps to tame and press down your hair. Especially if you're using a hot comb as you guys see me right here. I wanted to really put some curl in it. But, you know, I had done enough videos for the day. So, I decided to wear it just as is. But... Either overall, the hair is absolutely beautiful and I would highly recommend it. So this was a lengthy video, I will say that. For the most part, it did take me longer than normal because it was the glue. Now, there's nothing wrong with the glue. It's really great glue. I will give them that. This is like some really good glue. So as you guys see, it is stuck on my head, okay? I'm not really sure how long this will hold, but you know, I'm thinking I might have to take it off tonight somehow um, because I just really don't like the glue on my head for too long I don't really like to do the glue at all but I just wanted to show you guys what the wig looked like with the glue on it so as for youth beauty's hair this is long hair I don't know where they think this is only 20 inches but seriously you guys this looks like 22 24 inches like this is some long hair now you go to another wig company and you tell them you want 20 inches I guarantee you your wig is not going to be this darn long so I am so impressed with the length and the density it's not shedding um, or anything the only hair that came out of it was like the hair that I pre plucked so it's not shedding it's not dry thank goodness it's longer than it says to be 20 inches and the density is thicker than 150 the only issue is I have is just like the little tiny knots which you know we use makeup and stuff like that but overall the wig is really worth it you know what I'm saying like this is like a really nice wig I think they did a great job it's still very lustrous at the top and you know like when I say it's not dry like it's a tiny bit dry right here not at right here but just definitely at the ends which I'm pretty sure like a good conditioner would definitely help this wig and you'd be good to go so I still like it um I did pre-pluck it like I said and I might have could did a little bit more but I think once I bleach it it'll look a whole lot better in the front area and it won't even need any more pre-plucking but yes okay youth beauty that's what I'm talking about hunties so you guys I hope you enjoyed this video you can definitely check out this website youth beauty I'm pretty sure you guys will like it they do have some pretty neat wigs on their website so give them a try follow them on Instagram and stuff like that and YouTube let me know what you think of this long hair okay and also let me know what you think about the Janet collection the absolute which is the strongest hold is way stronger Stronger than the firm like for real the absolute your wig is not coming off like in the day like well I'm gonna get it off okay I, I got my own little tricks I'm gonna get it off but um yeah the, the wig is really tightly held so yeah let's check out youth beauty let me know what you think of this unit all the information will be linked down below for you guys I love you stay deep and deep delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share with all your friends and family on social media and I will see you guys on a soon to come video Thank you.